Hi, this is Anagha Mudkal. Welcome back to the channel. In this quick tip episode, we'll dive into a crucial aspect of audio production for voiceovers and audiobooks, which is clearing the dialogue of unwanted artifacts, and have an in-depth look at Nuendo 13's updated powerful silence detection feature, the Detect Silence. So, here's what prompted this video. My mother is a voiceover artist and she has narrated various voiceovers and audiobooks. With audiobooks typically spanning several hours of content, editing and post-production tasks becomes time-consuming and complex. And the latest audiobooks is just that. It's 23 hours long. But first, let's understand why cleaning dialogue is essential for professional voiceovers and audiobooks. Removing unwanted silence not only improves the pace and flow of the narration, but also enhances the overall clarity for your listeners. Removing unwanted noises helps ensure that the focus remains on the communicated content and not on the distracting audio artifacts. Unwanted clicks, crackles, pops and breath can be distracting and lower the overall quality of your audiobooks or voiceovers, which is crucial especially in professional settings where clear and clean audio is essential. When uploading your audio file for distribution on platforms like Audible, Spotify, etc., it must meet specific technical criteria. For example, ACX, the audiobook creation exchange owned by Amazon, conducts a quality check before approving audiobooks for retail. If audio guidelines aren't met, the release may be delayed. So after having recorded your audiobook, the next phase is to clean the recorded content of mouth clicks, breaths, plosives, and other noisy artifacts. This can be done in Nuendo using the direct offline processing. To do this, I am going to apply Isotope RX's dialogue cleaning tools. First, I will apply the deplosive. This will automatically add the process in the direct offline processing tab. And similarly, I will apply the other dialogue cleaning tools like mouth declick and deesser. We need to make sure that we do not run these processes at very high levels, otherwise they will start eating into the dialogue. And because we do not run them at high levels, some of the clicks and crackles are still left in the audio. And here's where Nuendo's Detect Silence comes into play. Detect Silence helps us to remove the unwanted noise in the silent areas present between the two dialogues. And here's how you do it. Here in Nuendo, we have our dialogue track imported. For demonstration purposes, I have selected a 2 minutes long clip. Let me pause the clip. As you can see, the noise flow here is minus 60. But the clicks, breath, etc. make the audio very noisy, because of which the levels have reached between minus 35 to minus 40. As you will see later, the AI based detects silence intelligently allows only the dialogue to go through and cuts off all the other intermediary noises. Whereas we know for sure that the noise flow level for an audiobook should not be above minus 60 dB. And these vertical lines here, they depict the clicks. Now let's play this part of the clip. As you can see, the noise flow touches minus 32 which is extremely high. So let's use the Detect Silence tool. First, make sure to select the audio event you want to run Detect Silence on, then navigate to the audio menu, select Advanced and choose Detect Silence. As I had previously set the detection to Dialog, so by default it has automatically started running the process with that setting. In the dialog mode, the dialog detection algorithms are optimized to search for silent sections. The peak mode allows you to manually set the threshold level to search for silent sections. You can also adjust minimum time open and minimum time closed. These determines the time the functions let the sound pass or remain closed after detecting silence. I'll keep these at default. Before I set the pre-roll and post-roll, let me zoom in a little bit around here. As you can see, currently we are intruding into the dialogue. So generally, I like to set the pre-roll at around 130 milliseconds to avoid intruding on the very start of the dialogue and post-roll at around 100 milliseconds to prevent it from removing the natural decay or the tail end of the dialogue. 
let's hit analyze. This will adjust the silent clips as per the new settings. These settings are crucial for fine tuning the detection to suit your specific project needs. Now, apply fades will automatically apply the fade in and fade out to each event or region that it creates. I'll also keep this at default for now. Now let's come to this interesting processing part. Strip silence will automatically remove the silence between two events. Since I don't want to completely remove them, I'll select keep silent segments. And I don't want to mute them, so I'll only choose select silent segments. So let's hit process. After running detect silence, Nuendo highlights these sections. Now just make sure to press command for Mac or control for Windows on the keyboard as you pull down the highlighted clips to another track, which I have here already prepared and color coded in advance. Now it's essential to listen through and make any necessary adjustments to make sure no part of your dialogue has been removed. And this can be done in two ways. You can either increase the size of the waveform with this slider the downside of doing this is that it also increases the size of all the waveforms which we may not want. The second way is what I usually do which is that I select all the events in the track containing the silent segments and go to volume and raise it to full which is 24 dBs and then skim through to check. One can visually tell the noise apart from the dialogues once we have raised it so high as the waveform of the dialogue is very distinctively noticeable from the noise. But please beware that you do not at all play the clip at such high decibels as it will damage your ears and your speakers. I'll reiterate that raising the track to 24 dBs is simply to check that no part of the dialogue waveform has been cut out. Okay, sometimes dead silence in the audio can feel abrupt and unnatural. You can fill these gaps with room ambience. This maintains a consistent flow of audio and keeps the listeners engaged without distracting them from the narration. There are two ways of going about it. You can either select the silent clip and lower the decibels and add it back to the original clip. Or you can simply add the room tone with ambience match in spectra layers so that they sit comfortably below minus 60 dB. Here I have duplicated the track just for demonstration purpose because I am going to bounce this track. Now right click on the track and select all events. Next right click on any of the audio event and choose bounce selection and hit replace. Now let's mute the other tracks and right click again on the audio event, select extension and spectra layers. This opens the spectra layers in the editor. You can change the composite view for better visualization. Now go to processes, select ambience match. And for now I'm simply going to apply it with the default settings. And you can see that the ambience has now been applied on the entire track. But we are not done yet. Audible and other audiobook platforms adhere to certain loudness standards. Nuendo allows you to normalize loudness at the export stage. So let's do it. Let's go to File, Export, Audio Mixdown. Now I'll render the demo track. Change the sample rate to 44.1 kHz and check on Normalize to Integrated Loudness. Adjust the Integrated Loudness value to minus 18 and Maximum 2 Peak Level to minus 3. Now let's hit Render. And there you have it. Cleaning dialogues using Nuendo's Detect Silence helps in achieving professional grade voiceovers and audiobooks. You can experiment with these techniques to find the perfect balance for your project. So that's all for this episode. For now, bye, take care and see you next time.